I intend to speak in opposition to Obamacare. I intend to speak in support of defunding Obamacare until I am no longer able to stand. Texas Senator Ted Cruz, the Republican at the center of the budget showdown, kicking off a 21-hour floor speech Tuesday aimed at drawing attention to his efforts to defund Obamacare. But his tactics are instead drawing fire, predictably from those on the left, but also from many on the right. We're back with Dan Henninger and Kim Strassel and Wall Street Journal political diary editor Jason Riley also joins the panel. So, Kim, uh, the uh, senator said his goal is to defund Obamacare. Is he making any progress toward that end? No. Uh, here's what Senator Cruz did this this week. He kept the focus on, surprise, surprise, Senator Cruz, but more importantly, on Republicans. And this has been the, the big problem here, is that what we need to have happen, if you're a conservative and you don't like this law, uh, then the goal here should be to make, as we just talked about in the last segment, making Democrats own a law that is proving very problematic and painful for many Americans. And, and one of the results of this entire to fund campaign has been that there has been no attention for months paid on Democrats, in particular vulnerable Senate Democrats who come from red states, are up for elections next year. These are people like Mark Pryor in Arkansas, Mary Landrew in Louisiana, right. who need to feel the pressure to actually have to vote in some way to delay or change this law. But so nobody's Kim, talking about but that. But Kim, are you saying that there is zero chance, no chance, that the Republicans will succeed in defunding Obamacare during this fight? Uh, not if the leverage is government shutdown, because Americans don't generally agree with that. Um, and, and moreover, you know, the president intends to veto anything like that. This is his signature achievement. The question is whether or not Republicans can find some sort of leverage that does give them some sort of changes that may delay or in some way help them with the law. But uh, Jason, it does seem that Ted Cruz is tapping into a grassroots sentiment of frustration with Washington. I mean, there really are a lot of people people who say, look at the Republican leadership and say, you know what, you're not fighting hard enough. Right. And, uh, and he's tapping into that frustration and he's being backed by some activist groups and of course the talk radio crowd which mm -hmm. uh, 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 likes this populist groundswell. Mm -hmm. um, is, is, is he onto something here, Cruz? Well, uh, Paul, I, I think a lot of people agree with him. Uh, a lot of people are frustrated. Well, we want and, to defund Obamacare right. too. And, and, the, and the issue here are his tactics. And the long-term strategy, the long-term Republican strategy for defunding Obamacare is winning elections, Paul. First next year in the midterms and then ultimately the presidency. That is the only way you're going to really push back or start to roll back Obamacare. And what Ted Cruz has managed to do is isolate people who agree with that goal in his own caucus. And that simply isn't helpful, particularly to the extent that it is taking the focus off of the fights Republicans have a shot of winning in the short term. There are senators like Tom Colburn and David Vitter who have put forth things such as the individual mandate using that as leverage. Delaying that for a year. Such as a uh, uh, pointing out how members of Congress and their staff are trying to put loopholes in the law that exempt them from some of the provisions. That is where Obamacare is vulnerable. And in the short run, that's where the leverage is to be had and used to push back. What about Ted Cruz personally, yeah. uh, Dan? I this mean, is some of this is, is, is I, he's, he's uh, uh, almost cl clear in saying he would like to run in 2016, and this is helping raise his, his profile run for president. Did he help his personal political stature? this week? Well, that remains to be seen. I mean, let's focus on the fact that there was an polit enormous political element here. To run for president, you need an enormous amount of national publicity, and you need it fast. At a fundraising base. At a fundraising base. And there is a school of thought that says, if you can get in there early and perhaps win in Iowa and New Hampshire, you immediately become the odds-on favorite for the nomination. And if it's a bloodless strategy, he's doing a pretty good job of running it. And look, we're living in a media age, and the media loves media-savvy celebrities. And so far, he's showing that he has that ability. Kim, what do you think about uh, how Cruz has helped himself or hurt himself? Because a lot of his Republican colleagues in the Senate don't, uh, uh, don't uh, agree with what he's doing, but hey, they don't vote in Iowa. 
Well, right, and, and here's why some people have, have used the word cynicism with regard to this. As, as you mentioned, there is an enormous frustration out there among conservatives in the base. They lost last year's election with a candidate who, who wasn't a great candidate, Mitt Romney. They felt the RNC let them down. They were completely outmatched by the Obama team, and, you know, and they want change in Washington. And so what Senator Cruz has done, and I don't think anyone can argue against this, is he has elevated his profile, but he's done it very specifically by beating on his own colleagues in the Republican Party. And, and that sounds good with the base out there, but in, in the longer run, you know, you, you need lots and lots of friends to run for president. Okay, is so he the next Ronald all... Reagan? Uh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. Reagan united the party. He didn't isolate his allies um, in the interest of self-promotion, and that is what, what Cruz is doing. What, what Cruz is also doing that's even more damaging is he's giving Reid and the Democrats an excuse to bust the spending caps and to use that leverage to do that. That is the best leverage Republicans have to bring down spending. It's working. Okay, Jason. When we come back,